guess where am I? Let me show you. McDonald's. Thank you so much. I got it. I just got it right now, the Travis Scott burger. And in today we are going to cook the Travis Scott burger. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> First of all, let's understand what is inside the Travis Scott's favorite McDonald's. Mmm, it seems to be the quarter pounder cheese. But let's take a closer look inside it to see. Wow, such a surprise. Look at how much love they put on it. Thanks, McDonald's. Anyway, there's ketchup and mustard. Mmm, onions, lettuce, pickles, two slices of bacon, one burger patty and the two slices of American cheese and the sesame seed hamburger bun so now let's burger them yo you know what I'm here Cactus Jack sent me here and for this show we are going to use a burger patty if you want to know how to make a juicy patty at home easily and quickly I put the link in the description that you will love to make it Pickles, to give a crunchy texture. This one is homemade. If you want to elevate your pickles flavor, I really recommend you to make homemade pickles. The link to the pickles recipe is in the description section below. American cheese, sesame seed hamburger bun, bacon. When you get it, look for the center cut bacon. This bacon comes from the leaner and more meaty section of the pork belly. More meat and less fat is a good thing. Yellow mustard, ketchup and lettuce. And don't forget the onion. Let's cut the lettuce in thin ribbons like this. I'm using romaine lettuce, which is very crunchy. If you don't have this one, try to get at the grocery store the crunchy one by asking the salesperson at the grocery store to help you find it. Let me show you how to dice this onion. Trim the ends, but leave much of the root intact. Cut the onion in half from end to end and peel it half. Lay one half on its cut side Make parallel vertical cuts from the stem to root end, but not entirely through the root end. Space the cuts as wide as you want your dice. After made horizontal cuts, make a series of cuts perpendicular to the cuts, and that's it. Listen to this. There we go. Time to slice the pickles. McDonald's pickles is cutting chips, but guess what? When cutting the pickles in slices, I can affirm that the spots will be filled up without any blank space between them. Let me show you the easiest way to prepare bacon without making so much mess. Line a microwave safe plate with two layers of paper towels. Place the bacon on top without overlapping. Cover with another two layers of paper towels. Microwave on high for 3 to 5 minutes for crispy bacon. Check on your bacon after 3 minutes. Depending on your bacon thickness and microwave model, you may need more time. Microwave bacon is amazing. I resisted it for a long time, thinking that it will not be good. I was wrong. Not only is the fast way to cook it, but it also leaves you with less fat and the texture is super crispy. It's a hundred percent the way to go. Heat the grill to 375 to 400 degrees. After that, let's place the burger patties on the grill. Cover and let it cook for two to three minutes to sear the bottom. You should see grill marks and then flip the burger patties and let it grill two to three minutes again. If you don't have a grill at home, you can use a fry pan. Turn it off the grill and place the burger buns to the grill around 30 seconds. Add the American cheese in the burgers to melt. 
When you see the grill marks on the bread, take it out. Let's build this burger. For the first layer, let's add the American cheese at the bottom part. Next, place the burger with the American cheese on top of it. The cheese on the bottom part will melt because the burger patty is hot. Add the slices of bacon and add the mustard and the ketchup. Spread them on the bun and then add the pickles slice on the top of the bacon. As you can see, onion cutting cubes place much better on the bun. Add the lettuce gently. By using two hands, place it the top part and that's it. Let me tell you something. McDonald's is run out of burger because of the massive popularity of the Travis Scott meal. Thanks to a partnership with the rapper Travis Scott. However, you can make it at your home. Easy and simple. Let me show you how the quarter pounder with cheese looks like. Sorry, I mean the Travis Scott. Maybe you had it before and you don't even remember because of the name. It's kind of cool how marketing works. I want to show you that. You can make your own as well. As long as you follow this recipe, you will be fine. That's how Cactus Jacks like it. Straight up. So, take a close look inside this one that we cooked. We made something phenomenal, don't you agree? Go to the comments and let me know. Try first the Travis Scott McDonald's. It's okay. Nothing too special about this one. Now let's try mine. Oh Jesus, look at how juicy is this burger. Mm. Mm. Just burger. Really, really good. Oh, but how am I going to say which one is better if it's just in here? Well, look at this. Be honest, just between me and you. Look at the size of this patty. And how juicy is this? This is mushy and it's dry. By the way, I hope you liked it, our show. And always remember to cook with love.